from not wanting fans to see the film that almost killed him, to being depressed because of the long-term effects of a bike incident. Here's everything about the time Sam Hewen almost died on set. It actually looks like a little bit flat, like tartan there. Oh, yes, because yeah. you are from Scotland. That's correct. right. That's, yes, that's, yes. That's... Let's get one thing straight. We all want to see Sam on our screens for a very long time. So, you can imagine the outrage when the Scot revealed that he almost died on set. It happened when he was playing his titular role in Young Alexander the Great in 2010. Now, this was one of the actor's first projects, so don't beat yourself up for not knowing it. In fact, the film was never put on wide release. Normally, an actor would be bummed about his project not reaching a wider audience. But in this case, Sam was thanking the stars for the film not doing well, which is a shame considering that the movie had an interesting premise. It focused on the teenage days of the well-known Macedonian general under the mentorship of Aristotle. So why was Sam not a fan of the film? It wasn't the cringeworthy swordplay or the laughable acting, but because Sam almost died on set. And it wasn't just once. No, my friend, Sam admitted that he faced death a couple of times. I guess it makes sense considering that the film only had a budget of $6 million, so they might have cut back on some safety measures. Hewen had to jump off a cliff, and he almost fell out of a taxi door. He also had to ride a taxi cab around Cairo, sitting on the rooftop, pretending to be a horse. Damn, I hope he got hazard pay. On the bright side, the Outlander star did have fun with it. He apparently made some of his best friends on set. Oh, and the movie wasn't completely terrible either. It scored 5.6 out of 10 on IMDb. And to make it better, he wasn't alone either. Lauren Cohan had to deal with having the embarrassing project on her resume as well. But, like Sam, fate was kind to her, as she found stardom in the industry with roles in The Vampire Diaries, Supernatural, and The Walking Dead. On that note, I think every hooligan should know that Sam is no stranger to accidents on set. He almost hurt himself a couple of times while filming Men in Kilts as well. The show follows Sam and his co-star Graham McTavish as they explore Scotland in all its glory. While the actor wasn't exactly performing any stunts, he did somehow end up in a few crashes. The funny thing is that Sam is all too aware of his terrible driving skills. Still, the Hollywood star said that he loves driving while he was on Live with Kelly. He also admitted that he has only crashed a couple of times. If you thought that was bad, Hewen also ended up making a few enemies while filming the show. Beats me how he managed to do that, but it still happened. He kind of blocked the route of a group of runners, which as you can imagine did not make them happy. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Sam managed to hurt one or two of them as well, since he's actually injured his own co-star. Yep, Katrina Balf was not happy when her on-screen partner left her with a bruised nose. This was way back in 2017, and the actress decided to air out her frustrations on Twitter. She revealed that she injured her nose while shooting season 3 of Outlander, and Hewen was the one to blame. This is what she wrote. Real reason they leave stunts until the last day, in case Sam Hewen steers you into a log. Yikes. Obviously, fans were concerned, but it turned out to be nothing serious as Sam made light of the situation. I feel like he wouldn't be joking if he had seriously hurt her, the Scot wrote. Or one could say that was perfect aim. Katrina didn't mind at all. No, instead she quipped back saying that Hewen would love to take the credit, but the truth is he's just clumsy. Unfortunately, the actress is no stranger to injuries on set. Sure, she may not have come close to death. I'd argue that getting hurt is just as bad. She hurt her leg while filming the famous turtle soup scene. Hewen still joked, saying that it looked self-inflicted to him. But don't go thinking that the Outlander set is a safe place for you to wander onto. Actress Sophie Skelton almost burnt herself on set. The actress revealed that she nearly set herself on fire. To make it worse, the fire went down her corset at one point. Yikes! Now that's a situation that could have gotten bad real quick. But thankfully, that's not what happened here. Katrina talked about the incident rather casually, as she said that it was a funny day. Unfortunately, not all stories about dying on set can make for jokes at the dinner table. Tom Hanks knows what I'm talking about. The Forrest Gump actor almost died while filming Cast Away. He was in the hospital for three days. Why? Well, because he refused to bathe given his role. While I appreciate the commitment, Hanks' decision only backfired as he got an infection from a cut, which was eating its way through his leg. The worst part, he didn't know. Tom thought he had a sore. Eventually, he did go to the doctor, who admitted him because if he didn't, the infection would have poisoned his blood and he would have died. If you thought that's bad, though, wait till you find out what Brendan Fraser had to go through. 
we all love the mummy. Brendan was absolutely brilliant. And a big reason why that was is that he didn't shy away from committing to his role. I mean, the dude almost hung himself. He wanted to make the scene really good, so he took a few deep breaths, but it kind of didn't work out the way he wanted it to. Fraser was on the balls of his feet and the rope was going up. The next thing he saw was the stunt coordinator standing over him, clapping his face, saying, Brendan, Brendan. When he did regain consciousness, the coordinator tried to make him feel better, saying that Brendan just joined the exclusive club with Mel Gibson, who almost choked himself out on Braveheart. If that had you concerned, wait till you hear about Jackie Chan. It's honestly not surprising to find his name here, considering that the star has worked on action movies for most of his career. Naturally, he's broken a few bones here and there, but if you ask Jackie about his worst injury to date, he'll probably tell you about his time on Armor of God that left him with a hole in his head. He had to jump through a tree, but the branches broke. Jackie tried to save himself by trying to grab other branches, but those broke too and he fell to the ground. The impact cracked his skull. Thankfully, Sean knew how to fall the right way, which ended up saving his life. That said, I think the worst of it happened to Dylan O'Brien. It's probably one that none of us can't forget. The actor was filming Maze Runner, The Death Cure, when he got hit by a vehicle that was following him. Dylan ended up with a facial fracture and a concussion. He had to spend months in recovery, and when he did get better, he wasn't all too confident about returning to set. Dylan admitted it himself that he didn't feel like leaving his couch after the incident. Speaking of which, Sam knows something about traumatic accidents himself. The Scott posted a video of him working out in the gym with the caption, sweaty upper body session before beginning my journey around the world. Had a small bike accident, so limping most of the way. Stay safe all. You can bet on the kind of chaos that unfolded in his comment section after that post. Now, Hewan didn't reveal the deets about the accident then, but he did fill us in later down the line, and it's kind of pretty bad. Apparently, Sam ended up hurting his knee during the accident. He tore his MCL and fractured his knee. Naturally, the Outlander heartthrob had to spend some time in rehab. Hewan also had to deal with some long-term consequences. According to him, he had to reapproach how he switched off after the accident. The injury forced him to start taking things easier. Before the incident, he was kinda always out and about, cycling, and doing CrossFit-style workouts. Of course, the accident also left Sam depressed. He's always been into marathons and endurance sports, but with his injury, he couldn't run. Eventually, Sam was able to find a new normal, and his fans couldn't be happier about it. So, from being depressed because of the long-term effects of a bike incident, to not wanting to fans to see the film that almost killed him, that's everything about the time Sam Hewen almost died on set.